Minsan ay pinangarap ko Ang buhay na tulad sa iyo Inabot, inakyat, ginawa ang lahat Ngunit kahol pa rin sa dulo Injustice, Greed, Corruption Bienvenido Lumberas, A Eulogy of Roaches is a literary work that is written to serve as a defiant voice against unfairness, injustice, brutality, and incompetence. Due to his descent to the dictatorship of Ferdinand Marcos Sr., he, along with other literary figures, faced arrest and imprisonment. The piece directly condemns the pervasive greed and corruption in Philippine society, targeting wealthy individuals and corrupt politicians. Lumbera likens them to opportunistic cockroaches, exploitative pests, preying on the vulnerable. This film unfolds as a dynamic portrayal of the stark contrast in the lives of its main characters, the lengths they are willing to go to realize their dreams. It will tackle the struggles of an average Filipino citizen against social inequalities. Through the magic of film, we are laying bare the harsh reality the unfair privileges that the rich and corrupt enjoy. Dad, I want this one, and this one, and definitely the most expensive one. Can you get them for me, please? Slow down, Maan. You've already bought quite a few toys today. Are you sure you need more? Yes, I do. All my friends have them, and I can be the only one without them. I really, really need them. And if you really love me, you're going to buy them for me, right? All right, all right, sure. Let's put all of them in the basket and then pay for it now. Yay! Thanks, Dad! Wow, tatangay! Ang dami broom broom! Ano, iuwi na ba natin to? Talaga, Tay? Ano, ibigin na ba natin to? Kagaya't pinangako ko sa akin dati? Masa na tayo. Last time, kaya kami. Kaya ako. Ako na kapag-ipon na nagkaroon na tayo ng pera kahit anong uri ng barangay. Hindi ito para sa'yo. Hey, you! Get me some food downstairs. Make sure it's hot and freshly cooked. I don't like cold food in the morning. Hi, Bumi. There's a cockroach! It's so cute! Thank God we got rid of it. I really hate cockroaches. They're so filthy, they're so scary. They really pesky inside. Please clean it before. Really? 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 Please clean it Ano kayo feeling maging ipis mo? Yung parang tatamay-tamimay ka lang dyan. Wala kang gagawin. Tapos yung parang paikot-ikot ka lang. Pero nakakakain ka naman ng tatlong beses sa isang araw dahil sa pamimeste ng pamamahay ng iba. Pero wisha talaga yung mga ipis na yan. Oh, ayan, isa ka pa. Buiset! Hi, Mahal. How are you doing? How's your studies? Dad, I don't want to do this anymore. It's just so difficult and look, I have so much readings to do. I know you can do it, my daughter. Besides, we have all the resources that you need to help you study. Wait, I have an idea. What if we ask Ninong Leon for help? You think we can do that? I'm going to call Ninong Leon now. Mm -hmm. Come in! Nino! Oh, it's nice to see you. What brought you to here in my office? Well, your goddaughter wants to ask you a favor, Senator. Oh, goddaughter. Anything for you. What is it? Well, you see, I'm kind of struggling in school and I think I'm going to fail. 
But I think with you know your connections and all that, maybe you can help me pass the exam or like help me in any way you can. Ha, <laughs> my dear Maan, you've always been like a daughter to me. I can certainly pull some strings and get you some inside information. Maybe even arrange some special considerations. That's just too easy for me. Anything for you. You're the best, you know. Thanks. Oh, tayo ano? Kasi naman ang pag-aaral mo. Ito tayo. Medyo mahirap. Ang dami kasing dagoy tapos nakatlipan ng deadline. Ewan ko ba? Hindi ko na po tuloy alam kung ano yung uunahin ko. Sa dami. Okay lang yan na. Round na pa lang pa rin ako sa iyo. Pero huwag na kakalimot na magpahinga ha. Dabi mo tatundaan. Hindi lang dapat matatawa na pinagpapahinga mo. Minsan dapat din ang pag-iisip mo. Eh, alam ko naman po yun kasi tayo. Eh, gusto ko lang po talaga makapagtapos ng pag-aaral, kaya ako po po din ako. Gusto mo ba sa mga mayroon ako magtaa? Ano naman makapagpahing ngayon po tapos sa kakaisip? Kakaaral. Ano? Sige na nga tayo. Basta huwag po tayo magpapagabi ha? Ang dago pong gago. <laughs> two distinct journeys unfold for two highly different individuals. Maan, born into opulence and accustomed to a life of privilege achieved her dreams through her family's connections. She graduated with flying colors from one of the most prestigious universities in the Philippines and eventually entered politics to strengthen their influence. On the other hand, Teo, fueled by determination and the hunger for change, worked tirelessly to attain his current status. He diligently pursued his education, graduating as the valedictorian of his batch. Later on, he ventured into politics with the aspiration of inspiring others and striving for a better life for his fellow Filipinos, especially to those who are less fortunate. Now that their paths intersect in the same world, we will witness how significantly their backgrounds influence their lives. We will witness how they will significantly affect each other's lives. Maan and Teo's stories coming together shows the differences of their actions to achieve a common goal. The controversial land development bill, which has been long debated, was brought up once again to the Senate by Senator Pagilaga. Meanwhile, this was opposed by Senator Marquina, as his team believes that this doesn't support the notion of strengthening the nation's economy, but rather only giving an opportunity to the rich to monopolize and earn from these projects. Senator Pagilaga claimed that numerous statistics and data has shown the projected exponential economic growth once this bill has been to pass. Still, Senator Marquina expressed his doubts as the Senate was filled with heated exchange of arguments between the two senators. Ms. Pagilagan, this bill is anti-poor. This bill aims to forcibly claim the lands of thousands of farmers in the country to give way to what? Infrastructure? Highways? Buildings? Subdivisions? Ms. Pagilagan, kung may tatanong ko lang sa iyo, no? Sino ang kikita nito? Di ba yung mga investors at mga mayayamang matagal nang nag-aasam na mapasa ang bill na to ang siyang magbe-benefit para dito? Come on. Please think progressively, Mr. Marquina. Napakarami na pong researchers, statisticians, economists, and even international ones ang nagsasabi na this bill could actually help boost the economy of the Philippines by 170.32% in the next 10 years. Tadoble po ang kita ng mga Pilipino. Titrimble pa nga eh. And if magpapatuloy ang economic growth na ito, we can actually be at par with the richest countries in Asia. I can think progressively, Ms. Pagilagan. However, ang ini-imply kasi ng bill na to, ang pagkamkam ng milyong-milyong ektaryang mga lupa na mga magsasaka sa iba't ibang sulok ng Pilipinas. Siguro nga, oo, um, di naman natin madadoubt na yayaman nga ang ekonomiya ng Pilipinas. Pero iniwan naman natin sa dilim ang mga magsasaka natin. They are the ones who feed us. And without them, we'll be all starved to death. And how do we repay them, no? By grabbing their land and leaving them impoverished for the next generations to come? Think about it, Ms. Pagilagan. Again, Mr. Marquina, I am the one pushing this bill forward. And I understand your point. I really do. 
We are currently doing plans such as agrarian reforms and agricultural innovations for our farmers. But rest assured, walang maiiwang Pilipino sa pag-uunlad kapag pinapatupad ang bill na ito, ang land development. Sama-sama uunlad ang lahat ng mga Pilipino sa pangako ng bill na ito. And I will take responsibility for this. And I swear to anyone in this room that if there shall be a single Filipino who was impoverished and was failed by the bill to give them the economic development they should have, I will step down from my position and I am willing to be put in jail. And Ms. Pagilagan, that is still not an enough assurance. This bill as a risk to move itself, no? and napakaraming factors and players ang involved dito. This bill alone costs 900 billion pesos to be done. Marami ng mga negosyante ang atat na atat na atat na kurakutin ang 900 billion pesos na to. Smaller budgets pa nga lang, hindi na natin ma-audit. What more pa kaya yung 900 billion pesos? Napakalaking risk na itong spagilagan. Pag-isipan sana natin. Are we really willing to bet 900 billion pesos for this bill now? We aren't even sure if magiging successful. I understand the role of infrastructures, better roads, and even better transportation for our economic growth. But how can we be so sure na dahil nagtatayo tayo ng mga infrastructures na ito, ay uunlad din ang kalagayan ng mga Pilipino? Siguro nga sa pagilaga, no? statistically, yes. Pwedeng tumaas ang ekonomiya ng Pilipinas. Pero, maragang daman kaya yun ng masang Pilipino. Why don't we just, you know, create smaller and gradual but safer and more secure steps for our economic development. Bakit di na lang tayo magpatupad ng better agrarian reforms while gradually promoting innovation and technology sa ating mga farmers since sila ang pinaka madadami dito? Why not focus on gradually improving different economic sectors in our country rather than rushing and pushing this extremely risky and expensive bill? Sana na pag-isipan natin ito, Ms. Pagilaga, no? What do you think about that? Ulitin ko lang, ah, Mr. Senator. We already laid intricate plans kung paano ipapatupad ang bill na ito. Our team has also made crucial revisions to ensure that the legitimacy of the auditing of the budget, if that's what you're concerned about, rest assured that transparency will always be observed for every peso that will undergo a transaction under this bill. Therefore, I am confident that this bill is the key to the new Republic of the Philippines, where no one is left in the dirt of slums. We here all have the same objective, and that is to develop our country. And with the country's development comes the development and improved well-being of the Filipinos. The Senate will continue its deliberation about land development in the next session, Thursday this week. Everyone may leave. Bahal, balita na. Can you turn the TV on? Sige nga. Oh, kakatapos lang ng Senate hearing. I wonder how it went, mahal. I hope they didn't pass on the bill. Kawawa naman si Tito sa probinsya. Ah, so many farmers will lose their livelihoods and homes. Buti na lang si Senator Martina tutul dyan. Nino, we have to do something about this. This parasite, we can't let him win. Kalma, ina anak. We can handle this. We just need to get him out of the picture completely. It's not just that, Nino. As long as he's in the Congress or he has power, we will always have to deal with his kind. We have to stop him permanently, strip him of his power, and leave him defenseless and ruined. If he keeps on doing this, there's no telling on what he can do to us. He's already dragging our names through the mud with those pathetic little speeches. We have to stop him. It's getting annoying. Maybe you're right, Iha. Winning the Senate hearing is not enough. We need to destroy him completely. But how? He has so many supporters. We have the money, but... But what? But what, Tina Anak? Money can buy you anything and everything in this world. You need to always remember that. There will be no one stopping us. Yuri, I can assure you that. His... His kind can try and take us down, but in the end, we will always reign supreme. It's all about power, money, and influence here, and it always will be. And don't worry, Iha. I already have a plan. You just need to trust me. Hello? I need you and your men to do something for me. There's 
a long one to pass, but some insect of a senator is getting in our way. I need you to do something about it. And him, bribe and blackmail the other senators, spread whatever dirt you can on him, real or fake, I don't care. I just want him and his campaign to be gone. Understood? Understood. Okay, I'll wire you the money. <laughs> A field assassination attempt was made on Senator Marquina last night, November 14, at exactly 11.19 p.m. Police officials say that based on the CCTV evidence, it was likely done by an experienced hitman. The report was made by the Senator's partner after hearing a gunshot and the pain screams of Senator Marquina. Police rushed into the scene immediately. Assassination attempts are often made by trained hitmen and with the evidence found at the scene, this is likely a paid job. Investigations will be conducted at the earliest opportunity. The senator was immediately brought to St. Luke's Medical Center, where he is now out of surgery and in recovery. The final Senate hearing is currently being postponed in light of the recent assassination attempt, as investigations are still underway to find the culprit behind the incident. Good evening, this is CLA News. We interrupt your regular programming to bring you breaking news. Earlier today, Senator Leon was seen being arrested at his mansion. After a short investigation, the NBI has gathered evidence linking Senator Leon to numerous corrupt activities, including bribery and election fraud. In related news, Senator Marian has announced that she will be running again in the next race. She continues to deny allegations of benefiting from Senator Leon's support during her campaign. Meanwhile, Senator Marquina proves victorious in the Senate hearing against the Land Development Bill. In a press conference today, Senator Mateo says that he is determined to keep fighting to support local farmers. At first glance, justice may be served, but darkness still lingers. For a moment, truth prevailed oppression exposed, and corruption punished. Yet we know the greater fight continues. Injustice remains rooted, and equality still out of reach. One greedy roach exterminated, but the rest remains. Elites scattered, clutching onto stolen power built on the backs of the oppressed. They poison our homes, they fumigate our dreams, but still we persist, we adapt, and we crawl towards the light. Hangat marami ang dugmok sa kahirapan at ang kustisya ay para lang sa mayama. Habang may tatsulok at sila ang nasutok, di matatapos ko. Sa mayama, habang may tatsulok at sila.